Hey guys, this is Coach Justin from Ultimate Baseball Training. Welcome back to another video. And look, I know we're all stuck at home right now, but that does not mean that there's nothing you can do to improve yourself as a baseball player. In fact, there are lots of things that you can do. And in today's video, I'm gonna share with you five exercises that you can do at home to increase your bat speed. The best part about it, you can do all these exercises at home in your backyard, and all these exercises are baseball specific, and they require very minimal equipment. I know that's a big deal right now without having access to a gym or a weight room or anything like that. So I really think you're gonna enjoy today's video. Let's jump into these five exercises. So the first exercise we're gonna be doing, this one's extremely baseball specific because we're actually gonna be swinging the bat. This is called overload, underload swings. It's one of the best ways to increase your bat speed, regardless of you know if, if you're at home and you're locked down or if it's just any other time where things are a little bit more normal, right? Overload, underload swings, if you're not doing this, you're gonna to wanna to add it to your routine. So the way it works, it's pretty simple. You can do dry swings, you can do swings off of the tee, you can do soft toss, front toss, BP, whatever but basically what we're doing is we're swinging with our regular baseball bat and then you're going to want to find a bat that's a little bit heavier than the bat that you would traditionally use in a game and you're going to want to swing that and then you're going to want to swing a, a bat that's a little bit lighter so i know that you might not have a million bats laying around at home but try to find one on the lighter side that hey maybe you used it a couple years ago it's a little bit too small for you now it's too light that's great though for this exercise use that and then maybe you've got a bat that's a little bit heavier or it's waterlogged or whatever the case may be, that could be your bat that's a little bit heavier. So the goal is to, you know, you don't want to be swinging something that's ridiculously heavy or one that's light as a feather. The goal is to get it just a little bit heavier than the bat that you're going to be using in your game or a little bit lighter than the bat that you're going to be using in your game. But do, you know, dry swings if that's all you have access to. If you have a net though in your backyard or whatever, you know, take some swings with the heavy bat off of the tee take some swings with the lighter bat off of the tee, and then obviously you wanna finish up with your regular bat that you'll be using in a real game, but this is one of the single best ways to increase your bat speed, and you can absolutely do this from home. So let's move on to the rest of the exercises. For the remaining exercises, you're gonna need access to a medicine ball. So hopefully you have a med ball laying around your house somewhere. I wouldn't get too hung up on what kind of medicine ball you have or the particular weight. This one that I have here happens to be 10 pounds, but if you've got one that's a little bit heavier or a little lighter or one that, you know, it's not your favorite, use it. Now is the time to be resourceful, okay? And to be honest with you, this, this medicine ball that I have here, it's, you know, a decent weight, but it's actually, as you can see, a really small medicine ball. I actually prefer the larger medicine balls and the softer ones. They make, you know, baseball specific exercises like these a little bit easier to do, but hey, I'm not complaining, right? Because I'm being resourceful. I'm using what I've got. That's what I encourage you to do during this time as well. Okay, so this first exercise, the last exercise we did was extremely baseball specific, right? Because we're actually swinging the bat. This is another one that's extremely baseball specific uh, and it's called rotational med ball throw. So pretty self-explanatory. We're gonna be throwing the medicine ball and we're gonna be doing it in a rotational manner. And how is that baseball specific? Because everything we do on the baseball field or at least a lot of what we do when it comes to hitting and throwing, there's a rotational component to it, right? So we're, we're really working our baseball muscles here, okay? So I love this exercise. If you're not doing it, incorporate it into your routine. The way it works is you're gonna have your medicine ball, you're just simply gonna put it out in front of your body like this. I'm a right-handed thrower, so I'm actually going to load up by bringing the medicine ball to my right side. Same as in my swing, I would, I would you know, load like this. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring it from the center of my body here to my backside, I'm gonna load, and then I'm gonna explode and see how far and how hard I can throw this ball this way, okay? So out in front like this, back, explode and see how far and how hard I can throw it, okay? And that's a common mistake. You know, if you've got a wall right here, a concrete wall, that's, that's really beneficial because you don't have to chase the medicine ball back and forth. But a problem I see with players who do this when they have a wall is they kind of sit here like this and they just do it almost half speed because they're almost worried about catching the medicine ball instead of getting every ounce of energy that they can into their throw. So if you've got a wall, that's great. You don't have to chase the medicine ball, but just make sure every single rep is a quality one, you wouldn't swing half speed like this, so why would you do that during this drill? Okay, so do a few reps going, you know, the way that you would actually swing. So for a right-handed hitter, you're loading with the medicine ball to your right side, throwing it to your left, and then try to reverse it because you don't want your obliques and, you know, your core to be one-sided. You wanna make sure that you work both. 
The next exercise is med ball overhead toss. You're gonna to need a little bit more space for this exercise, but I love this one because I always talk about whether you're throwing or whether you're hitting, it's so important to use your big muscles. Your legs are the strongest muscles on your body and it's so important that you use them to really maximize your bat speed, your throwing velocity, all that good stuff. And I think this is one of the best med ball exercises you can do to incorporate your lower half, okay? So again, this one's pretty self-explanatory, overhead toss. I'm gonna be throwing the, the medicine ball. I'm gonna start here like this. I'm gonna lower my body, almost similar to if I, were, if I was standing here and doing a vertical leap. So I'm gonna do the same type of motion, just holding on to the medicine ball. I'm gonna drop myself down, lower my body, get into my big muscles, get into my legs, and then I'm gonna throw it behind me. So up and behind me, throw it as high and as far as I can. And with this exercise, and really all these exercises, you get out what you put in, right? So if you, you know, give half effort, you're not really gonna see the results, but if you focus on every single rep, making it a quality rep, getting the most out of your body, you're really gonna see the most bang for your buck there, okay? So this is the way it looks, all right? Med ball out in front like this, I'm gonna sink down, get into my legs, and then throw it up and over my head. All right, so now for the next exercise, you can actually get down on the ground. We're gonna be doing med ball Russian twists. I'm a big fan of any sort of core work that you can do that incorporates rotation in it because that's great for your core, your obliques. They're great for your muscles that you're gonna be using to generate bat speed and throwing velocity, okay? So the way this is gonna work, same medicine ball, right? We're gonna start with the medicine ball in the center of our body like this. We're actually gonna lift up our feet and we're just gonna go side to side, back and forth, like this. You can start slow until you get the hang of it, okay? And then you can gradually start to pick up the pace a little bit here, but side to side, as fast as you can, do 25, 50 reps, take a quick break, then jump into another set. All right, so the fifth and final exercise we're gonna be doing to increase your bat speed at home is wood choppers. All right, this is another great exercise. It's gonna incorporate your core and your obliques and some rotational movement, all great stuff when it comes to increasing your bat speed and your velocity. So for this one, you can stick with using your same medicine ball if that's what you've got access to, okay? I'm, I'm big on, you know, using what you've got, being resourceful, and if all you've got is medicine ball, then use that. You can also do this exercise with a dumbbell, okay? So uh, depending on you know, your age and your size and all that kind of stuff, get an appropriate weighted dumbbell. Um, or you can just stick, again, with your medicine ball. But the way this is gonna work, we're gonna get into an athletic position, right? And we can start out, we can do these low to high, and we can do these high to low. So let's start out by going low to high. So the way this is gonna work, Start with the medicine ball out in front of me like this. I'm gonna lower myself down like this and then just come up to the opposite direction. You see that? So this is low to high. Okay, so you're gonna to wanna to do obviously right to left, then switch it and go left to right, okay? Low to high, and then you can actually go high to low. So I can start out up here like this and go down this way, okay? And then I can switch it left to right. So another great exercise to incorporate into your routine, great for working your core, your obliques, your baseball specific exercises. If you do all these exercises, I guarantee over time, they're not gonna work overnight, but over time, you're gonna see drastic improvements in your bat speed. I hope you enjoyed today's video and really quickly before you go, hitters, I put together an awesome free resource that I really think you're gonna like. It's called the Contact Point Checklist and you can download it 100% for free. All you have to do is click on the link down below in the description or I'll also put the link in the comment section for you. But basically what I've done is I've freeze framed the swing at the point of contact. So what I encourage you to do, download this free checklist and then videotape yourself taking a few swings and freeze frame your swing at the point of contact and see how you compare. See what are some areas where you're doing a really good job in at the point of contact and where can you improve. So I really think you're gonna like it. It's 100% free, so I'll leave that link down below. Be sure to download that right now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button for me. I'd really appreciate it. And last thing, if you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe to the channel. That way you don't miss any of the new videos we're coming out with on a weekly basis.